Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Peter Rentevi. Welcome to another edition of the Hentevi Minute. And today I want to talk about one of my favorite topics, which is ketamine for pain. You may be using this or you may be thinking about doing it. It turns out there's a better way of doing it if you're going to do it. There's two options. One is to give it over 15 minutes in a 100cc saline bag. We'll talk about that in a minute. Or what most people do today is they actually just take the drug and they push it directly into the IV, oftentimes with a very concentrated version of ketamine. Well, there was a study done in 2015 that looked at this. 24 patients in each group, and it turns out that the infusion group, the 15-minute group, had much better outcomes than the slow IV push. So when they looked at these two scales, one is actually a scale where they asked for a feeling of unreality, and it turns out that this group, the slow IV push, had a very high score of three, which is a bothersome value. Basically, they felt really bothered by it. And then they looked at the agitation score, and the score here came to a score of minus two, which is basically light sedation. So you're, calling that, you're causing them to kind of not dissociate completely, but somewhat. And then when you looked at the other group here, the infusion, those other 24 patients, the, the score on the feeling of unreality was zero, and the agitation score was another zero. It turns out that the pain was managed exactly the same in both groups, but you can see here that giving it slowly kept your patient awake and happy, not bothered and not sedated. And so now I want you to take a look at how would it look for a pediatric patient. So I want you to take a look here. This is Polk County Fire Rescue, and they have the Hentevi Mobile, and they use ketamine for pain. And you can see here for a five-year-old that the dose as a volume using the 10 milligram per ml concentration is 0.5 mLs. So let's take a look at that and see how that would look using an IV bag. Okay, so here's the ketamine, and the folks in Polk County, as you saw, carried 10 milligrams per ml, and for that patient, it was 0.5 mLs. So essentially, you take a one cc syringe, and you're gonna load it up with 0.5 mLs of the ketamine, green ketamine, that is. And then you simply insert it into the bag, And now you have your dose of ketamine in the 100cc bag and you let that run in over 15 minutes. And that way you have age-appropriate dosing of ketamine and you have a mechanism where when you bring the child into the ER, you'll have a child who's not sedated, who's not feeling bothered, but who has significant pain relief. I'll have those studies um, up on the website as well. So again, happy St. Patrick's Day everyone. And this is Dr. Peter Antevi for another edition of the Hand Heavy Minute. Thank you.